Hi Libra, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with another reading. And this reading is behind the scenes on your person, alright? So we have gone to great lengths to kind of, you know, crack the case on your person. Yes, yes we have Libra. We've been following them around uh, since, let me see, last night. When they got off work at 5 o'clock, alright? <laughs> Let's see what we have for Libra's person, please. And please know, Libra, these are general. They may not resonate, right? But also, these could be your energies here in the reading, okay? Right now, your person, I feel like either you or them, has a leg up. Mm -hmm. It's kind of an advantage, right? Some type of an advantage, right? And regeneration, it could be to rebuild something. This could be with you, Libra. I feel like it, it might be, right? Regeneration is... Like kind of bringing something back uh, from the dead, right? <laughs> and kind of rebuilding something. Maybe it ended really badly. Or, yeah, maybe there was a lot of pain. But let's see here. Regeneration. Sorry about this noise here, but it's pretty hot here. Let's see what else we have. Here and now. So here and now talks about enjoying today, kind of, and living in the moment. Being... Uh, entirely present in the moment, right? Which we're supposed to do all the time. That's what life coaches say. But don't look, don't look back, right? And maybe this is talking about don't look back. Live for today and start to rebuild something, right? There, I feel like you have an advantage, or your person, right? And don't be too concerned about the future. Let's see here for now, right? Yeah, let's see right now, Libra. Your person is in the. Five of Cups energy. It's in the reverse. <laughs> and the Wheel of Fortune is crossing them. They could be a Sagittarian. Three of Cups showing up. What's on their mind is victory, I feel like. Unless you were dealing with somebody who's in the public eye, maybe. Could be overcoming a situation. Yes, it could. Especially with regeneration. Yes. Let's see what we have here. And the Knight of Swords is in their hopes and fears. All right, Libra. That could be you showing up, right? With your kind of red, white, and blue get up here on your fast horse, right? And let's see what we got. And the Five of Cups is in the reverse. Uh, they could have been really grieving something. They could have been. I feel like they're coming out of that energy, right? Yeah. Why is that Five of Cups showing up for them? They could have been uh, maybe uh, dealing with deep regret as well. Two of Cups. And this could be starting over. It can. Because the Five of Cups in the upright is an ending. Yeah, it is an ending. This could be just like regeneration, right? It can be Five of Cups in the reverse. It could be starting over here. Maybe after, you know, after some really painful en ending there, right? Really some serious sadness. Two of Cups, which is, you know, the kind of soulmate card, right? These are two people who are want to come together or that are together but they are completely on the same page right and they are enjoying the two of cups is about somebody who uh, a couple that has romance in their life right they're not just two people who are together and uh, what time are you going to make dinner and stuff like that it is about two people who feel romantically connected yes <clears throat> and they they feel like their other their partner is their you know their one like the one for them the most intimate one their soulmate etc. And they feel understood right they feel really understood uh, with the two of cups. The star card is in the reverse. It could be an Aquarian here Libra, but this talks about losing faith maybe. Let's get a card on the star card. Why do, why do they have the star card in the reverse, please? Seven of Swords. Wow. King of Pentacles. So Libra, I feel like you're dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, <coughs> or Capricorn. Star card in the reverse. Wow. It's a possibility here, maybe that they could be, this could be starting over here. Where there was sneaky behavior in the past, and maybe they lost hope because of that, right? And let's see here what is crossing them. Why do they have the wheel? Why do they have the wheel of fortune, please? <coughs> wow. Could be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn over here. Two of Swords showing up. Nine of Wands. Yeah. 
It's a possibility here that maybe, you know, what is kind of crossing them or challenging them here is they could be the wounded warrior here. This is maybe why the Five of Cups is in the reverse, right? This could be, they could be completely exhausted, paranoid. They were already gone through a battle, right? They have this bandage on their head, right? They could have gone through a battle in the past here. Mm -hmm. And they could be, you know, there could be a Sag here, but this could also be that they're kind of like at a stalemate, maybe if they want to rebuild something here because they lost faith because of some, some of, I feel like that's what's going on here. They could have lost faith here, maybe, right, about some type of a sneaky behavior. It's possible you had a king of pentacles. Maybe that is not them, right? Let's see here. And the wheel of fortune showing up, yes, could be Sagittarian, right? But uh, the reading is brand new. There is no queen or king of wands. What I'm saying here is they could be at a stalemate here if things, if they could have success with you, right? With the wheel of fortune talks about success. And the wheel turning, right? Turning favorably, right? The wheel is in the upright. It is not, you know, it is about success. And it can be faded events. Yeah, it could be. And let's see for them. They have the three of cups in the root. I feel like this is about a third party. Why is that three of cups there? Because the tower and the nine of swords is in the reading as the five of cups and the seven of swords. <laughs> and the queen of swords, this is probably you, Libra. I feel like you had a third party, Libra. Yeah, I feel like you did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They could have too, maybe, but I feel like uh, it looks like it is you because they have a lot of... Uh, could be, there's a lot of... There's sad energy here, and there's kind of sad energy down here as well. So let's see. Why is the Eight of Pentacles there for Libra's person? This is in the root here. This looks like they are discerning a third party where somebody is putting in the work and they have the Page of Swords. I feel like it is about you. I feel like the Queen is there because this is you, Libra. And they are all in their head here. They could be spying, maybe. But they're, they put their detective cap on here. They're trying to figure out a situation here, maybe about whether or not they can reunite with you. I feel like that's what this is. Let's see here as we continue, because they look like they were losing faith. The Tower card is in a recent past for Libra's person. Could be a Scorpio here. Ace of Wands, Ten of Swords. So in the past, yes. Somebody had their passion a new beginning and like somebody had, you know, uh, a painful ending or Ten Swords in their back. Like somebody was backstabbed and somebody went on to kind of, you know, maybe uh, have some great new beginning with somebody, right? Could have been a lot of passion there, <laughs> maybe a sexual escapade, but this can be, you know, the Ace of Wands is usually full of growth and passion. Yeah, it is. And the Tower is here. This is in the recent past, so there was an ending here, right, and somebody got backstabbed here. I feel like your person is the one who did, but it could be either one. One of you guys definitely had a third party, and there is a chance to rebuild this. The Six of Wands is showing up, and this is what is on their mind, or this is crowning their thoughts, which is, you know, the same thing, really. King of Wands showing up. Yeah, there could be a Sag here, definitely. I feel like there could, there's a Sag here and an Earth sign who are part of a third party. This is crowning their thoughts. They could be trying to, there could be a Leo here, maybe, but there could be, you know, this could be Aries, Leo, or Sag, but... So far, it looks like Sagittarius to me. And why is that sun card there? This is crowning their thoughts. Queen of Wands. Wow, there could really be two or two fire signs here, maybe. <laughs> but this could be about a player, maybe, because we see the Seven of Swords right here, right? Yeah. And somebody was grieving in the past about this, about this Seven of Swords person, mm -hmm. or about sneaky behavior. Wow, definitely third-party energy here. Why is the Queen of Wands there? Why is it there, please? Wow, there could be two counterparts here. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. It doesn't always have to be just because it shows up like that, but there could be two fire signs here as well.
And this could be about somebody who is kind of like entrepreneurial here, somebody or a player, right? King of Wands, and maybe one of these uh, core cards, right? King or Queen of Wands could simply be the fire sign, right? Like a Sag or maybe a Leo with this uh, sun card here. I feel like they're just trying to gain clarity here about whether or not maybe Libra you are a player here and whether or not you're having victory with a fire sign. I feel like that's what that is. Because over here, Libra, your person, they look like they're losing faith. The star card right next to the seven of swords. That's how that, that's how that, that's what that is. Most in, you know, like, in this reading it is. <laughs> I feel like it is. Mm -hmm. Let's see in the near future. They're in the nine of swords energy, Libra. You kind of like, yeah. Why do they have that? <laughs> they're worried here. Yeah, and the Eight of Swords is worry as well. Yeah, it's kind of like worry about how am I ever going to get out of this this feeling of feeling stuck and like conflicted about a situation. And it is fear-based. Nine of Pentacles. And this is self-imposed. Like, they're making a bigger deal than it is. Okay, no, I'm not trying to like uh, invalidate anybody's feelings here. But the Eight of Swords, I hope I didn't say Pentacles, the Eight of Swords is typically, uh, to some degree, they have put themselves in this fence. They're in the fence because they don't see a way out. That's why they're in that, like, paranoid, kind of immobilized, yeah, energy. And over here in the near future, they're worried here that they're going to either be single here and walk a new path, or you are. Mm-hmm. And the regeneration, it's a possibility that there is another union here that is being rebuilt. And maybe it is not for your person. Because they look like, uh, honestly, they look like they are like at a stalemate here and kind of, you know, sorry guys, I have to close the window down again. But they could be, you know, at a stalemate here. Like, they don't know what to do here because they're too guarded. This is what I mean by a stalemate. Yeah, for them. They're too guarded here, and in the root, they're the Page of Swords. Like, trying to get to the bottom of the matter here. Like, they need more information. Yeah. And this is why they don't know what to do. And this, and this info that they need is about you, Libra, I feel like, in a, in a third party with somebody possible they did it right. You guys can switch the characters all day long, alright, and twice on Sunday if you want, right? Let's see why they have the Page of Swords uh, wands in the near future. Why do they have it? Uh, the first card out though is the card of worry and anxiety, right? This is them. Anxious, right? With their angst, right? <laughs> and the Justice card, this is you Libra. Yeah, they're worried that you're walking a new path. Yes, they are. Maybe because of what they have done, but I'm not seeing the reading like that. I'm seeing the reading that you have done something here. And the chariot card, they're seeing themselves as a chariot. Why so? It could still be either way. Mm -hmm. But there's definitely a third party here. I feel like there's a chance to rebuild this. But your person here uh, is either... You know, they don't know what to do here because, like, they're still totally jaded over the situation. Like, they haven't really dealt with the situation yet. They could be thinking that you're going to go back with this other person, and maybe that is what regeneration is for, right? So they're seeing themselves as the chariot, the page of pentacles, and the seven of cups. Confused or having options. Let's get another card. I feel like they're confused with all this discerning energy, trying to figure things out. Why do they have the Seven of Cups? Eight of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. So here we see the King over here in your overall energy. You're dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Right? That is one of the players here. There's somebody else here in this reading. Probably a Sagittarian. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're confused here if you have some type of a new beginning with this King of Pentacles person. And it's possible you, Libra, are rebuilding with this other person. And I said that. Not the person in this reading, but maybe someone else. Why is that three of maybe this King of Pentacles or this Fire Sign? Why is the Three of Swords in the environment for them? This is their environment. 
Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Wow, Three of Swords. Wow, look at this. This is heartbreak for them. Because of an earth sign. Mm -hmm. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. This could be somebody who is kind of like uh, not doing well financially. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it could be. It could be somebody who is kind of like no longer wanting to like nurture a situation. Ace of Pentacles. Five of Wands. This is the third party. Right? Somebody has a third party where there is, like, a new beginning. This is in their environment here. Why do they have the Five of Wands? Why do they have it? And your person is struggling. Yeah, they are. Four of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody's holding on to somebody here, and it is really breaking somebody's heart here. I feel like that's what that is. But this could just be a third party. doesn't always have to be heartbreak. But your person is over here worried. Right? Mm hmm So, I feel like it is heartbreak for them. Wow. Ace of Cups. Emperor. The Aries here. World card. Whoa. These are big, big cards here. This is in the environment. There's an ending. There's a third party. Mm hmm And there's an ending and a new beginning. Somebody's holding on to somebody here. They could be wanting to hold on, hold on to you too, Libra. They could. Your person is in love with you. That's clear here. Your person loves you, but they're like, or you are in love with them, but I feel like they're the ones that are in love with you here, and, you know, but they're worried about this third party, because there was already a lot of pain for them in the past, Tower, Ten of Swords, and in their hopes and fears is the Knight of Swords, why do they have it? Ten of Pentacles, Death Card, this is in their hopes and fears. They're just trying, they want this to end. They want this other relationship to end. Hangman in the reverse. Wow. They can feel like you are sacrificing them, right? Or that you don't no longer want to make a sacrifice. You're like, oh no, I just want to be single over here. Because they are worried about that. Look at this, in the near future. They're worried about you sing, being single, right? Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. Judgment. This is in their hopes and fears. Strength card could be a Leo, Queen of Cups. Wow, for me there's a Piscean here. This can simply be love here. For sure there's an earth sign and a fire sign in this in this reading, Libra, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like they just, want to, they just want to stop you from giving somebody else a second chance. Or they want a second chance with you. It's a possibility here. But they want to stop another union. I feel like they do. Wow. We're going to find out all about them, Libra. Yes, we are. And I'm interested to know, too, because this is an interesting reading. I feel like there's uh, a few people in this reading, right? Which kind of clouds it a bit. But we're going to find out over there uh, in the tell-all, right, on Vimeo. That is where we crack the case, so to speak. And we're going to talk about the underlying energies, how they really feel about you, right? And uh, also the blocks or the challenges between you guys, what they could be hiding from you, Libra, what they are fearing, and also, any actions they're going to take here on Vimeo it could be their outcome as well. We're going to see. I'm interested to find out myself. All the extensions are super affordable. Yeah, they are, you guys. And uh, not like the hair extensions. Those are not affordable, right? Not <laughs> and anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys need your own reading, you can certainly get one, right? And uh, yeah, that is the best way, right? If you guys got a message, please give a thumbs up. Thank you.